Hello and welcome to Miss Rache YouTube channel. Today we feature a newly married couple of a German lady married to an African man from the largest slum in Africa. They met each other in an event and fell in love at first sight. Enjoy their love story and a tour of Kibera slum where it all began. Love blossomed here in Shanti makeshift. Here is their love story. Uh, so my name is Lena Weise. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Germany. Now staying in Nairobi with Vince, my husband. Yes. <laughs> and my name is uh, Vincent Otieno Onyango and I'm 22. Yes, and I stay in Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> yes, with my wife, Lena. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I grew up in a small family, but not like his. I have uh, two brothers, and one is bigger than me and one is smaller. Mm -hmm. And yes, my mom, she works in a kindergarten. She was always very protective. She, she loves children. And I grew up in a, yeah, in a good, good environment. We had a good house, like, yes, I was always protected by my brothers, okay. my dad, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I just went to, in Germany we have a good uh, education system, so I went to public schools, yes, I went to primary, then high school, then university, Okay. and I studied social work and I'm a social worker now. Okay. Uh, for me, okay, I can say it was good because I okay. I didn't grow up like her, and I was raised in a in a humble family, you know, background. I was staying in Kibera, yes, with my family, and so yeah, I was born in Kibera and raised in Kibera. Yeah, in um, a family of twelve kids, <laughs> yes, and I'm like the. I think the second, third, last born. Wow. Yes, and uh, yeah, it was challenging. You know, I went to school, but it was a bit, you know, tough for me and my family because you are a lot of kids. Yeah. You know, and you know, our parents like they didn't have a good job to pay for school fees for everyone. So it was tough. At some point, I had to drop out of school so my small sister can continue with her education, and. Uh, yeah, so it was it was challenging for me and tough. I had to, you know, try to survive. Yeah. Yes, we used to live in a Mabati house, like a small house, you know, and you had 12 kids. You know, it wasn't easy and like, you know, you're not sleeping comfortably, you know. It was a small house, like, yeah, a stone, like, not stone, but mud house, you know. Yeah, yeah so... My parents and my siblings, I mean, it was crazy because my parents were not protective, like they were not protect, protective like us. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they used to, you know, let us hustle for ourselves and, uh, yeah, and survive. It wasn't a good relationship. You couldn't go to your parents and be like, oh, I want this, you know, like it, I wasn't raised like this. You have to know a way how you fight gonna, for yourself. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. So, how and when did you come to Kenya? Um, I came to Kenya in 2021 because of my studies, because uh, it was part of my social work studies to do an internship mm -hmm. for six months. So I decided to do it in Kenya. And since I, I always love to help people, especially children, I decided to do it in a slum. So I went to Korogocho and I did an internship there in a school yes and yeah this is how i came to kenya and i was working there six months with the kids why in kenya and not in any other country in africa um i don't know i think it was uh, I, uh, my university they had like a collaboration with this organization here in kenya yeah. and this is how i got connected to kenya mm -hmm. and yeah i love the description of this uh, internship and I was uh, checking on Kenya and I thought this could be an interesting country to visit. 
So which university were you studying in uh, Germany? Uh, in Germany it's a Catholic university uh -huh. um, but it was a public one so like we not like here it, like you can go to university and uh, the government is supporting you like it's not a must to be rich to go to university like yeah it was a good university mm -hmm. so tell us how was it coming to Kenya like um, now you are from Germany to Nairobi tell us that <laughs> okay so I I love to travel and I when when I was in school I didn't when I was 16 in I think it was 2015 yes. I did an in a, a student exchange to Chile in South America and after I finished high school I was traveling to different countries in South Africa so for me I I know how it is to to come to new countries to exper experience new cultures mm -hmm. but still coming to Kenya it was still different and I was trying to be open-minded and I was trying not to judge so I was coming with no expectations and yes but the first expressions of course it was it was shocking mm -hmm. especially seeing um, seeing the slums on the one hand and then going to the westlands and seeing the other life like it's it was crazy for me to see those differences between uh, yeah, rich and poor and it's all in one country and yes so I came here in 2021 for six months to do an internship here and after this internship I had to go back to finish my studies Sadly, like it was a tough time for us. Mm -hmm. I had to go back to finish my studies, mm -hmm. so we've been separated for six months. Mm -hmm. Yes, to finish my studies, but after I finished, I came back as quick as possible. Okay, before I came to Kenya, um, I, I was prepared well because it was part of my studies to go abroad, so it was also. Uh, supported by the government like I got some financial su support and also we did like um, we had like meetings where we've been talking about uh, how it's gonna be how we gonna prepare so I was prepared very well and like I had to inform myself about Kenya I was to having an in um, I was doing a presentation about Kenya like it was prepared very well by the university so I think it was really good to do it with the university because yes I had this good preparation and I wasn't thrown into cold water yeah. so before I came to Kenya I was preparing myself like uh, I was checking the the weather like the temperature how it's gonna be because Germany Germany okay we have summer then it's hot but we also have these cold periods and we have snow so I was checking like what kind of clothes do I need and I thought because what we learned when we've been kids it's always Africa is so hot and I thought it's gonna be so hot but then when I checked I found out okay Nairobi is not that hot always I need long clothes as well so yes I prepared myself with that and also I was getting a dictionary Swahili English and Swahili German so I was trying to learn some Swahili words Yes, but I found out it's easier to learn Kiswahili when you're actually here. In like Kenya. it's not easy when you when you're sitting in front of your book. Like it's better to learn it when you talk to people. Yeah. Yes, and this is how I prepared. Okay. Okay. When I arrived in Kenya, like I it was I don't I remember sitting in the car going to the house and it was so impressive just seeing like the environment out of the window and I, I remember I was when uh, this host family they've been showing us around I was a bit nervous like <laughs> when I had to get out of the car like it, it felt like oh where am I and I felt like uh, is everybody looking at me but <laughs> <laughs> okay when I came and okay the difference of being white here like what I don't like about it is I don't like to be seen different. I know <laughs> people, they think white people, they are maybe rich, yeah. maybe oh. they, okay, somehow 
the people who are coming here, they are rich, they can afford a flight coming here. Yeah. But it doesn't mean when you're white that you're rich. Yeah. Like we also have white people suffering. Yeah. And yes, I think there are a lot of stereotypes and I I wish one day like everyone could be seen equally. Oh. Yes. Most of the time you 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 get treated different because you're white but not always in a bad way uh -huh. sometimes i like i experienced racism like i i was for example entering a club i was i can enter without being searched oh, and yeah. my black friends they they can't enter like this and this is like this is what i experienced but this is what i don't like okay because i want to be searched as well because i can carry something oh, as well okay. i can carry a knife okay. Yes. So in short, you are treated special here in Kenya, yes, better than has Kenya, yes, how yes. we are treated. Some privileges I don't deserve, like, mm, okay. yes, I but, get it. but also like, okay, we are, we, are, we are financially struggling a bit, like we're okay, but we're struggling and people, they, 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 think. they think I have money, mm. he has money, or he mm. is with me because of money, mm. and this is a stereotype, it's not true, okay. sometimes he's even, yeah. he's even, inviting me for dinner he's paying the rent everything because i i i don't have a job here okay so this is also a stereotype like yeah. when you people don't have like it. money yeah. <laughs> yes. okay um my experience in Kawagocho was good like i i really loved this time i loved working with these kids with these children they are also innocent and they all had so, such good hearts they really mm. appreciated uh, my work there they've been so happy that I was coming there they yes it was a really really good experience and I, w I wish all the best for all these kids I yeah. I wish they like because I saw some kids they are so talented yeah. they, they could have a bright future and I wish this future will be bright because I know it's challenging growing up in the slum and even when you are talented, it doesn't mean like you you will have a bright future wow. because of the environment. Okay. What were you doing in Korogosha to be specific? Uh, I was working in a school and I was uh, supporting the teachers. Like I was helping them because they had a lack of teachers as well. So sometimes I was even doing some classes because I wanted the children to get the education they want they deserved. Mm -hmm. But when there was uh, time, I was also doing like um, other activities with the kids and uh, life skill trainings and yes, stuff like this. In your experience of uh, ed education and school, what, what what's the difference of uh, German education and Kenyan education? Is there any difference? Um, yes, there are differences. I think uh, the biggest difference is like in Germany, Education is free, and and the public education, the governmental schools, like it's good. It's you you get well educated, mm -hmm. and in Kenya, if you want to have good education, you need to pay for it. Even when you just want uh, like a, if you just want to send your kid to a, to a simple primary school, you have to pay for it. Yeah. And if you can't afford it, your kid can't go to school. So. I think it's a big privilege to have a free education in Germany and even when you can't uh, afford like a uh, school utensils or pencils or books mm -hmm. like you can request the government to get financial support okay. so education is very important in Germany and it's it, the government is really helping us to get good education okay amazing so who is the best person who is for me growing up in Kibera uh, my dream was to be the best footballer in the world. At that time I was still playing football, so I was I was really into football and I wanted to, you know, pursue, like, do my, like, be somewhere, you know, like uh, as a footballer and, you know, and stuff like that. But then, yeah, it came to change because I started dancing because yeah. I was, I was still a dancer, I loved dancing, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I started dancing and I came to find out that football is not my, my thing anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 
I stopped uh, football mm -hmm. and uh, I started dancing. Yes, and I was so passionate about dancing and stuff like that. So we we had I, I formed a small crew, me and my brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we started dancing and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to be the best dancer, you know, and and I really wanted to do this and I felt like now this is the thing this is what I want yeah and I felt like this will you know bring me out of uh, Kibera you know because yeah. yeah. I was really into dancing so we dance I we started dancing me and my brother mm -hmm. we formed a crew mm -hmm. we danced we danced and uh, we were in big shows you know dancing for celebrities wow. and I loved doing this you know it was my passion and I felt like now this is what I want to do mm -hmm. so yeah I mean I still dance though Ooh. yes and I feel like uh, dancing helped me a lot yeah yes because I came to find out now this is my this my is talent and this is what I love to do okay. so yeah and it, it has helped me a lot and mm -hmm. you know to grow personally mm -hmm. physically mentally you know because when i was in kibera you know i was having this mind like uh you know life is hard. is hard and no i just yeah i'll just use drugs and oh, no. stuff like that I, like i would see my friend using drugs and i'll be like no i don't want to be like this you know i want to make something uh, out of my talent and you know be someone so you know in future so and uh, also to to you know be a mentor yeah. from other kids and to show them that it's possible, it's possible you know it's Talent. possible like you, you if you if you're raised in kibera like you have nothing it's possible if you have a talent mm -hmm. just push and believe in yourself okay. so now i'm doing that i'm mentoring kids and stuff like that and uh, you know at least to educate them that not to use drugs and feel desperate because you can't do anything if you're from Kibera, don't have that mentality. You know? So yeah, it was it was really a journey for me and uh, now I'm heading there slowly. Yeah, and I'm so proud of where you I am. Yourself. Right now. Yeah, and I'm I'm out of Kibera now so I feel, wow, feel everything better. is possible. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What's the future plan with the dancing? passion that you, you have yeah so now i i still do dancing uh -huh. yeah like um, i still dance and i still do fitness wow. and uh, i want to combine these two things and uh, bring like a dance fitness uh, mm -hmm. studio i want to start a big studio in future a big one yeah. and uh, train people uh, to you know have confidence with and their body and uh, be fit and also to learn how to dance like you know yeah. stuff like this I want this to is combine my, yes fitness and dance yes because I'm pretty sure like no one is doing this so I'll bring this wow <laughs> yes this is my dream the biggest challenge was oh, I um it there were a lot yeah. but I can start with this so I we were staying with my my dad uh -huh. but then our houses got demolished we had to sleep outside for one week why was it demolished I think it, it was a government uh, okay. property, <laughs> and of which this property they haven't done anything yeah. till now. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they demolished the houses, and we didn't have anywhere to sleep. You mm -hmm. know, it was tough. It was challenging, mm -hmm. and I I wasn't going to school. Okay. you know, so even even me not going to school, this was challenging. Seeing other mm -hmm. kids Good. going to school, mm -hmm. and I'm just there, you know, mm -hmm. like. It was really hard and you can even sleep without getting something wow. to eat. Mm. You know, if your parents don't get anything, you, you're you not getting anything, yeah. you sleep like that. So, so you were living tough. with the dad and not the both parents? Yeah, like my mom and my dad separated. separated. So okay. I was living with my dad. Most of the okay. Mm. okay. Okay. So the, the culture shock, what were your culture shock now? first time being in Kenya? I think the m most shocking is like we Germans we love to be honest yeah. and we love to speak out what we think like we love to be direct and people here they love to, to pretend everything is fine so uh, 
Yes, like this was challenging for me because for me it's a good thing to talk about problems, but Kenyans they don't love to talk about problems. <laughs> it's a, it's something you, you don't do that much. <laughs> so it was challenge for you. Mm -hmm. And the food? Uh, the food I love the food. I'm vegetarian, and like since I was always uh, in the slum and everywhere, like. In, in the school where they've been cooking, they didn't cook meat because it's too expensive. I was eating with the children, so this was perfect for me. And I was um, staying with the, like I was staying with some other interns, but we had like a host family and we could go there for dinner. And they've been super nice, always cooking vegetarian food for us. And I love, I love Kenyan food. I love chapati. I love kachumbari. I love the Kenyan food is good. Yeah. I mean, my advice for those who are growing up in Kibera and uh, in this situation, they feel life is hard and they have like they have no hopes. You know, like for me, I believe if you if you really wanna do something and achieve it, you can. You know, you just have to know what to do yeah. and at uh, the right time, like you you have to discover your talent. Yeah. Discover your talent, or your work gift. hard in that, yeah. yes, or your gift, mm -hmm. work hard in that, you know, put effort in that and try to be, to be, you know, strong yeah. and believe in yourself. Wow. You know? That's what I can tell you, youths and people who are growing up in, not only trust. Kibera, mm -hmm. with other slums, you know, just believe in yourself and put in work. Wow. Yes, it will, it will work. Amazing. Yes. That's nice. a good... That's a good advice to yes. give. And also avoiding drugs. Yes, avoid drugs. Yeah. <laughs> yes, avoid drugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this money that you're using to get drugs, try to save it a bit. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And you know, invest in it with the, or in your talent yeah. or your gift that you yes. Wow. Amazing advice, okay? So how did you meet and when did you meet? How did we meet? Yeah. <laughs> Lena. <laughs> so uh, Actually, we met at the first weekend in, like, my first weekend in Kenya, mm -hmm. and I think both of us we haven't been looking for anyone. Like, it was, I don't know, for me it was de destiny. So we met at this uh, event. It was, um, yeah, I came, uh, I came like a visitor, and he was a professional dancer at this event. Mm -hmm. So he was on stage performing everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and later, they've been coming in, uh, into the crowd to dance also with people. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, I, I don't know. We started vibing and dancing, and uh, yeah, he was asking me for my instagram or phone number but i refused to give him mm -hmm. because all the time he was wearing a mask and i was telling him i can't see your face so i can't get your number okay. and he was like okay let's go backstage i show you my face but i was kind of scared like ah, i don't know him he wants me to go backstage so <laughs> because he, he didn't want to remove the, the mask, mask in the crowd <laughs> uh, yes but so i refused at the beginning mm -hmm. But later he he was he was almost leaving this event, mm -hmm. but he was removing the mask yeah. because he had to go home. Yeah, okay. And then I felt like oh I like this guy I don't know I felt like they they we've been on the same level like we've been vibing so I felt like ah it would be nice having someone here like a local person to know like maybe we can become friends so okay. I I. I run <laughs> okay. when he was leaving, and, I, <laughs> and I, I get, I got his number. Yeah. Wow! Or oh, Instagram first. Instagram. Okay. So this is back in 2021, the mm -hmm. first week when you came to Kenya. Yes. yes. So who approached who? him? You? Uh, me. Yeah. Oh, you approached her. I approached her. Uh huh. Yes. Was for the number yes. or Instagram no, handle. First, I was dancing. <laughs> I was wearing those uh, anonymous masks because yes. it was my job to yes. make the crowd hyped. Okay. So uh, I came and I saw her like, you know, she was dancing and I was like, oh, okay, uh -huh. I see this Muzungu. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And so I, okay, I was just vibing. I wasn't like into anything and mm -hmm. I was like, hey, you're nice. Like, can we, can I get your Instagram or your number mm -hmm. to, you know, know each other? And she was like, no, mm -hmm. like, I, I don't know you. I don't mm -hmm. see your face. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. 
I don't want to bother you like because I don't like to bother people yeah. once they say no it's accept it's or no you yeah. know uh -huh. I accept or no so I was like okay mm -hmm. and we continue dancing and oh. yes so I went and I changed mm -hmm. and uh, now I was it was time to leave you know so I was waiting for my friends and we were leaving and then all of a sudden I see her coming to me and yes well, and I changed I, my mind I said like yes. no I can't <laughs> let him go like this yeah, so uh -huh. now she saw my face and uh, she was like, like okay, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I have a let number. Me just get the, I have an Instagram. Let me just get the Instagram. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, so we yeah. started texting and we started. Ah, uh, wait. Okay. You took the Instagram handle. Mm -hmm. Yes. After how long did you reach out to him? He was reaching out to me. Like when I got your Instagram, I I came home after this event mm -hmm. and I got a message if I arrived safe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. He was yes. asking me if I arrived safe. Mm -hmm. So, How did you get? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was nice. Like at the beginning, like uh, it, it was more like a friendship for us. I think like we we just started uh, texting and getting to know each other. Then we started meeting in person. Uh -huh. yeah, it was good. Like he was, I was new in Kenya. I didn't know a lot, so he was like my local friend. He was taking me to places. He was showing me around. Like. I I really enjoyed this time because I I was experiencing a lot with him and because of him he was showing me a lot like I saw other interns like they've been going to the same same places okay. every weekend and he was showing me around he was showing me a lot and I I could experience Kenya wow. from mm. from everywhere so you started as friends you guys right yes so when did you start dating after how long? I, 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 I don't know, it just happened. I think it just happened that we started liking each other and then it was yes. dating. Like it, you ca we can't say it was then because it just happened. Like, yeah. Uh -huh. so yeah, like it, it just came to a point like uh, we talked and she was like, you know, let's let's try friendship let's, was let's, elevated yeah, no, yes let's uh <laughs> let's have know. something yes okay so, okay we never we never mm -hmm. had this conversation it just but, happened like yes, it, it was... happened but then like we we knew like okay now we are not friends <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. we knew it <laughs> okay yes. yeah. so after he removed the mask like i i saw his face and i saw his smile actually it's his smile because <laughs> he, like he, i could tell like uh, he's a he's a good person uh -huh. i don't know like yeah you can you can see it when yes. you look at him even when he's dancing and when he, everything he's doing he's always smiling like you're he's making a, me shine up <laughs> <laughs> he's having he's having a good personality oh. and you can see it like when he's when you see his face you see he's a good person oh and do you have physical attraction okay so first for me i was on stage yeah the first uh there were people dancing down then I saw I saw her. Mm -hmm. She she was having a fr like friends, you know, mm. and they were dancing all of them. But I saw her, and you know, she looked she looked happy, and I was like, like the way she's you know just dancing, she doesn't care like what like, other people going. are thinking. Yes, yes, she's just. I was like, oh, like I like her vibe, you know, just the the energy. I saw the energy, yeah, and she was having beautiful eyes too. Mm -hmm. like, Yes. Oh. I could see her, but she couldn't see me. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I didn't even realize. Let's say you were the one who saw her first. Yes, I saw her first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, what made you love each other? <laughs> okay. So it was. Uh, I would say. Uh, so when we we were talking, and then she was like, "Ah, I'm planning a trip to the coast." Mm -hmm. And then I was, the, I was okay. So, <laughs> me, like I said, yes, we talked all. about we talked about this, and then we we agreed on going to the coast together. Together, yes, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. And I think this this was the point. Yes, I we think to, we we fall in love this yeah, weekend. To get, we get, we got to know each other and mm -hmm. to yes. to learn like few things about each other mm -hmm. this week because that's that's when we had time. Mm -hmm. to, to know each other yes, well week, yes. mm -hmm. okay yeah. <laughs> yes. so. okay i think the first time we met we went out again yes we went out again we went out mm -hmm. and uh, the next day i remember we went to ngong hills 
-hmm. Yeah, that was the first time we met again after I got the number and I was like, ah, uh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going out with my boys. Mm -hmm. You know, let's let's let's, let's uh, link. link. And mm -hmm. I, I thought maybe she wouldn't come, but she was like, okay. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yes, I can't yeah. wait to see her again. <laughs> like, no, I knew this would be time for us to talk. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, I was so excited to meet her again. And uh, we met, we danced again. Yes, this first uh, mm -hmm. night. And then we... And then after uh, that, we wanted to see each other again. Again, yes, and again. And the next day, we went, went to, to the Ngong Hills. Mm -hmm. So... Yes. Uh, we 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 were doing activities first, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. yeah, Gong Hills, and then I was uh, my friend was having a performance again, mm -hmm. and then uh, we went to this performance. I invited her, mm -hmm. uh, and then she came, and we went to this performance. It was late; mm -hmm. it was getting late, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I was like, let's get something to eat. We went to. Kibera, Kibera yes. now. Mm -hmm. I think it was your first, no, okay. not your first, but it was your first time being in Kibera, like. Yes, like mm. uh, we've been taking dinner there. Yes, yes. we mm -hmm. took dinner there and uh, and she didn't want to go home. Okay. Yes, because there was <laughs> there was curfew. There was curfew, yes, there was curfew. Yeah. Yes. And it and was late. It was late, so, so we've been she struggling. Was, yeah, so. she was like, uh, I can't. I can't go home. so maybe she like I asked oh you can stay at my place mm -hmm. and she said yes I was still scared because I didn't know what she would think because I'm staying in Kibera so that time you were living in Kibera yes, when I was you still, were friends and dating yes I was still living in Kibera and you? <laughs> I was staying in Kasalani in Kasalani yes mm -hmm. so <laughs> the first date you went to sleep in Kibera yes how was it? <laughs> okay, he, he told me from the beginning, like since we've been uh, texting, he told me I stay in Kibera. So I knew Kibera is Islam and I knew Kogocho from work. So I could imagine it somehow, but I didn't know how it's gonna be. Yes, uh, yes I was a bit nervous too, but I, I knew I liked this guy and I don't want to judge him from where he's coming. Okay. So I went to his place, I slept there. Uh -huh. I, it was, I was. Yeah, I was <laughs> a bit nervous, <laughs> but it was good. Like he was having a place for, on his own. The okay. place was big. He uh -huh. had, okay. like, like it was arranged well, so I felt very comfortable. And every time I had to go to the toilet, he was taking me. Uh -huh. Like it was, it was fine. Okay. So first night in Kibera, and you know Kibera, there is no water. There's no uh, inside toilet, no shower. How was it? for you okay uh, I was scared of running to the toilet in the middle of the night but <laughs> <laughs> he got me a bucket <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's okay <laughs> so, so this problem was solved oh my god yeah, so. what? Wow. <laughs> it's a good story to inspire people yes. what? It's yes. so like yeah I mean, I mean I, those, those it's no memories so. <laughs> okay he got he got me everything I needed he made me yes. feel so comfortable so I never felt uncomfortable uh -huh. I, okay I, it, it took me some time until I, I took my first shower and everything but I think uh, at the beginning I was coming at the weekend maybe once. Uh -huh. I was staying sleeping there one night, then next time I was sleeping there two nights, and then suddenly I found myself sleeping there three nights. So, <laughs> so I got more comfortable and comfortable, and like I, he was he was making me feel so well. So for them, uh -huh. like it wasn't easy to have uh, visitors because oh, okay. you know they were, yes, the the people who they were working with. They, they lived they, like yes, together? Not they? really together. Yes. They had like a house here and one over there. So, mm -hmm. so you wanted privacy, they, right? Yeah, they didn't yes. want uh, visitors to come. Okay, they wanted visitors yes. but not to. Ah, okay. So yes. so we since we had a shared an apartment, we couldn't bring everyone mm -hmm. oh, yeah, sure. yeah. we wanted. Like we, yes. we had to talk, talk to, to them the, first and agree first. But since they knew Vin, like he was coming sometimes. Mm -hmm. and yes. Okay. Yes. So I went and I visited her. Uh, I didn't sleep there, right? I, I came back home. Okay. I spent yes. some time and then I came back home. Okay. Yes. So, so then <laughs> I went there again and I slept yeah. once. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I have a question, Vin. Eh? That time she was coming to to sleep or to visit you in Kibera. Yes. What was going through your mind, like? So for me, I didn't know she she will judge or whatever. Uh -huh. I was like, 
she's, she, like, what will, what will, will, will she think of me? Like, I'm staying in this house and I'm giving her a bucket to clean. Like, there's no watch. Uh, you know, it was so, it was, I was so, like, I felt like, oh. You, are, you, yes. you felt like, what am I doing? Yes, yes, like, it was so, so hard for me. A bit, yeah, because I thought maybe, you know, she, Okay, I'm not, like I'm not judging her, but you know she she hasn't experienced this. Mm. I'm pretty sure she hasn't experienced mm. this kind of uh, thing before. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just like, you know, okay, this is what I can. I this can is what do. I can yeah, give this you. Is me, you know. <laughs> I don't so have it. at some point I was like, whatever, you know. It's either you you catch up with catch me. Catch up, or you know, I don't know. <laughs> so, oh, because no other yeah, way, you don't, you, accept, you don't me. accept me. Yeah. yeah. So Ooh. yes, in the morning. I make breakfast for her. Yeah. What, what 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 kind of breakfast were you making? I for? knew she loved avocado, so I was getting avocado for her every morning. <laughs> yeah. avocado, avocado and, and bread. Yeah, oh. it's bread and tea. <laughs> and, and eggs, right? Yeah, eggs, sometimes, yes. sometimes eggs. eggs. Sometimes eggs. Okay. Tomatoes. Yes, tomatoes. Yeah, and chapati. Okay. She loved uh, this roll. Chapati. You put uh, eggs, uh, avocado, and chapati, and then you roll. <laughs> she loved this, and so I, I was making her yeah, this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so You're still making this. I still, yeah, I still, I still make this. Yeah, I still make you this. Oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah. So now you've started to date. Your friends have started to see you with a white girl. Yeah. Your yes. family. Yes. What was the reaction? Vina <laughs> konam You you know you're walking in the hood because she was coming for weekends. Yeah. I'm going to Pika and I'm walking with her Kibera and people are like, what? Muzungu at this time coming, <laughs> so it was, it was people like were like you know how like well, you're with a white girl, how do you feel when you're with it's a white love. girl in mm -hmm. there? So I'm like you know, I don't I don't see her. Okay, she's it's just a color you know, mm -hmm. but she's just like other ladies you know. Yeah, yeah and uh, even my family, my 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 dad, they were like. You Are know you when, sure? <laughs> they, when when the when she first met, okay I didn't want her to meet my dad yeah. that that quick yeah. so my dad one day came to visit me mm -hmm. so he thought I'm alone but then all of a sudden a muzungu comes <laughs> like you know what's going on <laughs> like, uh, meet Lenny and I was like Lenny meet my my dad and then my dad was like hi 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 i'm vince dad okay i just said this is my dad you know don't <laughs> you know, it was so yes. like vincent is my son yes vincent, like you know they were yeah. they were confused oh, yes okay. they were confused like how is this happening yes mm -hmm. like uh, like you know it was so it was so surprising mm -hmm. yeah so but now they are used to it mm -hmm. and they accept that you know yeah, it's your family that can always so nice to Yeah, her. they are nice to her. And, you know, like, you never know where you're gonna fall in love, you know. Oh, yeah. you, you can you can have a Sudanese, like every everyone, you know. Yeah. You never know where love will find, love will find you. Mm. So, yeah, and it found me here. So, okay. I can't say no, because people yeah. will see her as a Muslim. But still people look as like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. they still look at us, like, at us weird. Mm -hmm. Not yes. oh yeah so I'm used to it. So, okay. Yeah. So I was uh, staying or uh, like I had this family taking care of me when I was staying in Kasarani. Um, for them it was very important that I communicate where I'm going, when I'm spending time with the people. Like they they just wanted communication. And since they grew up in Kogocho oh, okay. and they made it out of Kogocho now they're staying in Kasarani. Like I told them about Vin, like I showed showed them his Instagram and I told them I'm gonna sleep there. They've been conf comfortable with it because they know how it how life in Slum is and they know these are just normal people yeah. who who are who are born in in the slum. Yeah. Yes, but uh, it was okay for them since I communicated. Okay. Yes. So how did people described your dating life like were they seeing you before your age let him talk how did, how did people uh, describe you being with amzungo uh for me oh, okay they they always say like uh ah 
you know, I'm with her because of money or mm -hmm. something like this. Because they, 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 okay, like uh, you, you see, like they see Mzungu, mm -hmm. I can't pass. Oh, so, they... so Mzungu has money, you okay. know. So I'm with Mzungu because of money, you of know? money? and uh, of which that's not the case because. Yeah. Uh, at, at some point even some people think I have money because you know I like people know me and they mm -hmm. see me like uh, that uh, like I'm, I'm different from other people even when I was staying in the hood still yeah. like I, I always uh, presented myself so decent and yeah. you know so people thought I have money you yeah. know so but then now they see me the Muzungu I know that's they the, see you're rich. I'm rich. Yeah. I, I'm which rich. Is, you know, so which of which, is not true. Of which it's not true. You yeah. know, I'm trying to build myself, and uh, even people still do this. They think they still uh, uh, judge. judge. You know, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's tough to convince people. But you know, as long as you know what you each other are on and what's yeah. your goals together yes. and why you're together, yeah. you know, that's all that matters. I see also some people say you you dated her because of visa. Yes. Please talk about that. Visa secured. <laughs> yeah, talk talk yeah. about that something. Uh, okay. Some say yes. I started yes, that. Some yeah, some people say, some people say that uh, you know I'm with her because I want a visa to go to Europe. <laughs> Mm -hmm. well, this is so bad, you know. Like it's not good to say this, mm -hmm. you know. Don't I don't see her as visa, you know. I'm not, I like I'm not with her because I wanna go to Europe. You yeah, know? actually, like, he doesn't wanna go. Like, yes, like <laughs> you know, let's let's stay as long as possible. Yes, yeah, let's yes. try to build something here. Yes. In Kenya. It's not like I, I, I'm, I, I'm with her because I want to go to Europe or get papers to stay in abroad. No, I'm not with her because of that. I'm okay with staying here. You know? okay. I'm really okay with staying here. So, so let them know that. Yeah, yes. let them know that. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, <laughs> so how did you break news about your relationship to your parents? We start with you. We start with, yeah. <laughs> okay, for... Okay, how, how did I tell my friends? So, I think I, it was, I told my parents on a phone call. I told them like, ah, I need to tell you something. And, and I don't know how, like, how moms and daughters, they have this connection. So I was just smiling and my mom, she already told, like she said, we fell in love, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes, and yes, like, I, this is how I, I told my family and my family they are really accepting like they, they are supporting me with everything I do so they they ask me questions about him and they like they, they they've been happy for me they said ah as long as you're happy we are happy, happy for you yes, yes when was this ah, I think after a few months mm -hmm. yes. and then uh, they got to know Vin through phone calls as well and everything yes the the only thing they don't they didn't like about it was that Vin was staying here and it made me stay here as well okay. <laughs> so they prefer having me in Germany okay but uh, they are really really happy for us okay and you Vin how did you break the news to your family members so for me you know uh, I'm I'm that guy like so First, uh, she met my dad. Yeah. You know, in that process, and uh, so I was like, okay, let's let's go. I didn't tell my dad. I yeah. just went with her. Yeah. Yeah. So we went to visit my dad, and I was like, this is my this is my girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my dad was like, okay. okay. <laughs> Hello, daughter. Okay, uh, Hello, daughter. <laughs> You're now part of this family. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Africa. Welcome to our family. I'm yeah. Kenya. Yeah. Yes. So. Like it was, it was, it was okay for him, cause you know, yeah. Like, he's he's supportive too. You know, he really supports me, and uh, he's he accepts uh, mm -hmm. what I I do. Like, if it's a good thing, and it's like if she makes you happy, then it's okay. It'll be you can stay with her. Yes. yes. They, your family accepted yeah, me they right accepted, away. Yes. Oh, yes. so both of your families supported you guys. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. So how was it like the first time talking to my 
I was I was so nervous. I was so scared of doing this, you know. And uh, yeah, like I was like, wow, so what am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, like I just said, hi, my name is Vin. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Okay. But they've been nice. To yeah, you, they've right? been nice. They've been nice. You know, they're like, oh, we are nice. Like, nice to see you. That you're with our daughter. You know, take care of her. Okay. Uh, like they were, they were nice. Her parents, like, they're so nice. Okay. Yeah. So now I understand you guys, because of interracial differences or intercultural differences. What was the challenge during dating time? <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there were a lot of challenges because first time I'm a Kenyan, she's German, mm -hmm. and uh, you know Germans they're known for being on time. Yes. On time, time, yes. eh? time. So when, when we <laughs> planned to meet at two, I was there at two o'clock. Oh. Okay, maybe five five minutes later, but he, he, I, you can find him coming at three. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, like time and. Uh, also communication yes. okay yeah it's this this was tough too because sometimes uh you know i don't communicate uh -huh. and uh we are silent and maybe there's something wrong but i Kenyans, so, they don't like to talk about problems or issues yeah. so they they love to hide it yeah but i think we've learned a lot how to communicate and Especially in an intercultural relationship, you need to communicate yes, because yes. there are so many differences, yes, differences and mi misunderstandings mm -hmm. happening. Especially, I'm not talking in my mother tongue with yes. him. Like, there they can be also challenges because of the language. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it's it's really important to communicate, yeah. to talk about your feelings because sometimes we just misunderstood each other and after we talked about it we found out ah you meant it this way i meant it this way and we we just didn't understand each other but no one meant it in a bad way yeah. so yeah. it's so important to talk about the problems mm -hmm. to communicate mm -hmm. but we are we are we've we've come from far we yes. we learned a lot how to communicate with each other because mm -hmm. sometimes i would be I'll be just chilling, you know, on my zone, and then she'll ask me, "Are you okay?" And I'll be like, "Yes, I'm, I'm okay." And then she'll think like, "Oh, I'm not good. I'm okay." So <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, I'm fine. Like I'm totally fine." But she, she thinks I'm okay. So I, for her, okay means like you're not, not good. you're not good. Oh, like okay. you're okay. For me, <laughs> okay is something like I. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm yes. not sure. So she would be like, what's wrong? I'm like, I'm fine now. What do you mean? What's wrong? And then we, we start like maybe yeah. small arguments because uh -huh. she's like trying to find out. Just tell me what's wrong and I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. No, I'm okay. But no, I know. So, okay, it's yes. good. So, but for me, so, okay, it's not good. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What other challenges? Um, yeah, like uh, let's say we 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 going to eat yeah. and then I'm, I'm there laying. And uh, she's like, get ready, let's go, get something. And I'll be like, okay, I'm getting ready. And then she'll get ready first, and then I start getting ready. <laughs> get annoyed. You know, and then she's like, please stop. And I'm, she's like, like, I'm she's hungry. Like, now I'm waiting for you, and I told you to get ready, and you're, you're starting to get ready when I'm ready. <laughs> you know, like, it, now I know, like, you know, these are things. Okay. Yeah, yes. like, yeah, so, I, <laughs> yes, this, this was a challenge too, you know. So yeah, in your dating life, is there any time you felt like, oh, let's separate, this is too much, like, somehow, no? <laughs> Have you felt like this? You. Eh? Actually. Is there any time you felt like, hey, this, okay, this is it too was, scary for it me? It was tough sometimes, but for me, I knew, like, I I really love this guy, like, my, like, my feelings, they feel so strong, like, maybe the thought came up, but it was never a serious yeah. thought because I knew yes. I want to be with him. Okay. And you yeah. think? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I would say like... Uh, I would say like... Uh, there's, a, there's a point like uh, when you are still... When we started uh, to okay. date yeah, and uh, I felt like, uh, you know, we were having some serious conversation and issues in the relationship and uh, 
I felt like uh, this this won't work. Mm. I okay, I felt like this for real. Like there was a point I felt like uh, you know she will go back and she. Yes. Yeah, You've so, been scared of me yes, going back and, and never coming. And, and never coming back. Yeah, so so like, you were okay. scared to invest your emotions yes. to her, and yes. then later yes. she yes. she leaves you. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I really had to convince him that I'm serious with him, like, yeah. because he thought I, I'm gonna be here. Maybe I wanna have fun, a good time, yeah. fun, and, and, then, and I will leave, and I will forget about yes. him. Yeah. But I told him, no, I won't forget you, never. Wow, yeah. so you really assured him, right? Yes. Okay. Were you scared that you might not be able to take care of her? Either financially because you were okay financially. Mm -hmm. I, I, for other things, I was like, you know. I can do, but then financially, I was at that time I was uh, I was still uh, having issues like you know financially and stuff, and I wasn't getting uh, gigs like I was used to, and uh, I was with her, mm -hmm. and then you know she decided to stay with me, mm -hmm. and it was it was really tough because you know I I didn't want I didn't want it to be like she's the one providing yeah. for me, you know. You're I, I, I like her. come yeah. on, you know, I'm a, I'm a man, you know, yeah. let me. Even if you're Muzungu, it doesn't mean like you you're gonna provide for me or anything. Mm -hmm. I felt like I need to have uh, something on the to bring something on the table, you know. She want she wanna dress good. She yeah. wanna look nice. Take care you know? of her. I wanna I wanna take her shopping. I wanna take her out to eat out, you know. And I felt like, you know, I really there's so much pressure. Yeah, there's pressure, you know, <laughs> which uh, she she came to, you know understand me yeah. and she was like you know it's not about money i'm not like that girl it like who wants to dress fancy mm. or make a very mm. like you know so i was just doing what i can for yeah. her you she know was i wasn't i wasn't uh pressuring to give her a lot you know because yeah. i was just doing what i can yeah. for her. Ooh, and she was she was she was good with that mm -hmm. that was what i needed <laughs> yes so how was your dating life Okay, because I was working during the week, uh -huh. uh, we had to date at the weekend. Yes. So at some point, like it felt like this time is too short. Like because I knew I'm having six months here, and the weekends they are short. And yes. during the week we've been missing each other. Like it was it was tough. So sometimes I even found myself after work I had to work until four. Uh -huh. So I had to go home from Porogocho to Kasarani, mm -hmm. and from there I was I had to get an Uber mm -hmm. to Kibera. Mm -hmm. But now it was rush hour, mm -hmm. so sometimes I found myself after work sitting in an Uber for two one hours, and a half yeah. hours, two hours, just to to come to his place, and for a few hours we take dinner, and then. Uh, in the morning I had to go back early like it was it was tough but I was doing it to see him uh -huh. yeah yes. like you had to wake up at 6 and yes go. <laughs> okay to go back to work mm -hmm. yes so it was it wasn't easy mm -hmm. and some at some point we felt like we're having a long distance relationship from Kibera to, 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 to Kasara <laughs> <laughs> yes but um, yes we managed and now I'm happy that we're not Okay. Yeah. Having this issue anymore. Okay. So this is in 2021 mm -hmm. and you were in Kenya for six months, right? Yes. And now you've started to date and to friendship, right? You went back to Germany after yes. six months? Yes, I had to go back to Germany in 2022 <laughs> uh, to finish my studies. Mm -hmm. So I went back and we've been separated for another six months. Six months mm -hmm. But in the middle of the year, I came back. To Kenya and I came to stay. Okay. So it was when do, did I come? July 2022. 2022. This is when I came. Yeah, that's when. I that came. is after finishing your your your, My your school or your studies, mm -hmm. right? So how was it dating now? You being in Germany and him being in Kenya for those six months. I think this was also one of the yeah, hardest, toughest, uh, yeah, time, toughest yeah. time. Okay. Because being separated, it's not easy. Like you, you just want to be, be there with with each other, but you can't. Like there was no way for us okay. to be together. Yeah, like it we, was really crazy. Uh huh. Yes, we've been trying to get him a visa to visit me, uh -huh. but it was tough. Yeah, it was, we it was we tough. didn't get it. Okay. So, 
and I couldn't come because I had to go to school. It was really challenging, but we've been more happy. Strong, yes, yes. <laughs> it made us really strong, and now we uh, we can appreciate okay. being together. Wow. Yeah. So, is there any point you felt like oh, now she went back to she has gone to Germany? I don't think she is coming here. Well, so before before she went, <laughs> we already communicated. And she told me, okay. I'm gonna come back. I just have to finish my studies mm -hmm. and I'm gonna come back. So, okay, I, I, for me on my side, I knew, okay, uh, oh, I, wa I wanted to work, okay, so let me, let me just give a, let me give it a shot, you know, let me try. And I was, I was, you know, trying to wait for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we've been communicating, mm -hmm. calling every, mm -hmm. every day. Okay. Yeah, by like time was, going okay and yeah i was i was no i knew like she she would come okay i was sure about that okay yes. so you coming back in 2022 july right were you still living in kibera july uh -huh. no i wasn't living in kibera but then i already moved so she found you when you moved to kibera yeah yeah but from kibera time, yeah so no so the thing is uh -huh. before, you well, before you left uh -huh. before she left to go to germany uh -huh. Uh, I was already planning to move. We were planning to move. So she helped me to move. To a better place. Yes, to mm -hmm. a better place. Mm -hmm. She helped me to move mm -hmm. to Yes. To so a so before she left mm -hmm. we we did this together. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I wanted and I wanted to make sure like before I leave I wanted to make sure he's staying in a yes. secure place. Yeah. Yes. So, so you went in July 2022, you came to a new place. A new where place, yeah. And I already knew this place because yeah, she, we, we, we moved, kind of moved in we, together. Yeah, yes, we oh. moved in together and then uh, she went, uh -huh. then she came back. Now we, we were staying together. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Because now she was done with her internship and her studies. Our studies okay. So we decided to stay together. Okay. So how did you propose? <laughs> how did I propose? <laughs> This is your story. No, this is your hours too. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. So, uh, about uh, me proposing, mm -hmm. it was. I just felt like I didn't. I didn't propose uh, straight when she came. Uh -huh. We we stayed for like. Uh, uh, it was a year, right? Before we stayed together. Yes. No, no. After you came back. After I came back, like six yes. months. Six months. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six months. But we knew each other for more than a year. And a year, yeah. So, uh, we stayed together, and then, you know, I just felt like I, w I wanna be with her. Uh, you yeah, felt like so you wanna marry her. I wanna, I wanna make her my wife. Okay. Yeah. And okay. in future to be the mother of my kids. Okay. Yeah. So, I was, I was like, you know, should. I, I first asked you, right? Yeah, we had like you. We, you didn't ask me, but we had like conversations about it. If yes. We, okay. If we wanna do it soon or if we wanna wait. Yes, I was asking her if, okay. what what she thinks. Okay. You know, because maybe okay. I, I'm the one feeling like this and she doesn't want. It. Okay. So, so it it wasn't like I'm asking her if I propose. I was just getting that uh, information. I, yes. If, <laughs> like if if what do you think? Like yeah. are you ready? Yeah. Or, uh -huh. Yeah, and she. Was, so yeah. when he proposed, you were you were ready for proposal, yes, right? Yes. Like I had an idea. Like he, he might propose. he might propose. Okay. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> it was first of January this year. Yeah. First January this year. Yes. Oh, so it's like it was New Year. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, I didn't expect it. Like we've been with a friend, and we we just went to a place to get, to get a juice, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Suddenly, my friend she started recording, and then I was like, "What's going up?" And then I I see him standing like. Then I knew I knew what's gonna happen. Then he went on his knees, and then I don't know. I think our friend she she informed the the restaurant mm -hmm. and the waiters, and then the waiters came mm -hmm. and clapped, and it was it was a nice moment. It was a nice moment. Yes. So you were excited. Yes, it was perfect. It was simple, but perfect. Okay. It was just for us. Okay. Yes. So, um, how was now planning the wedding? So, planning the wedding, it <laughs> it was another journey because since uh, it, we're in 
we're an uh, intercultural couple, yeah. you, it's, it's not that easy, like you have to do a lot of pre uh, preparation mm -hmm. yes. and you have, we had to get a lot of documents from Germany, from Kenya, mm -hmm. we had to go to a lot of offices okay. and it, it, it also costs us some money to, mm -hmm. to get all these documents. Uh -huh. But yes, it was a long process and yes. when you were going through this process of paperwork you can't enjoy the the, the, the real preparation for the wedding. For the wedding okay. yeah. But we managed yeah. and then we had a like we had like a week to plan the the yeah. wedding mm -hmm. itself, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, for me it was it was hectic, you know, because uh, I was I was like, you know, thinking oh you no know, Okay, like we 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 spent a we really spent a lot for the process to to get the documents. the documents and stuff. So I was like, oh, how is it gonna be? Like, should we should we just uh, you know have like do <laughs> should we do away with this yes. preparation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was really tough. But then uh, you know I just uh, said ah I'll do what I can you know where I can to to make something just small for for the loved one and friends yeah. and uh, yeah so i arranged something small and with our, our help of a friend of ours mm -hmm. you know she really came through and she was helping us, helping us yes. to prepare to, to plan for the wedding, yeah, yes, for yes. The wedding yeah. okay and since the documents it was also expensive we thought we we don't have a big party but yes. then a friend, she arranged a small, yeah. small event small, for yeah. us. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It was really nice. Okay. So mm -hmm. when, when did you get married? The first of March. Wow. So he proposed the first January, and then you got married the first, first of March. March? Yes. Yes. It's just the other day, this month, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. How was that day? Ah, it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful because uh, her parents came from Germany. Oh, yeah. yes. uh -huh. so they came, and it was my first time to meet them, and they were so, they were so, they were so nice. You know, they were, uh, they accepted me, mm -hmm. and they were, they were really good people. And then, so they came. We stayed for like a few days with them, and uh, and then we we went for the for the for the. We we went to the coast together with them. No, mm -hmm. no. Before the coast, no. We we after we we stayed with them. Then we arranged the party. Now when we, they were there, mm -hmm. so we had like a party mm -hmm. with everyone. My family, mm -hmm. her family, mm -hmm. my few good friends, friend, mm -hmm. uh, few friends, yes. and then uh, small. we 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 did something small, but it was so amazing. so amazing. Yes, you know? because it was we beautiful. Had it was, all the people we knew. Yes, wow. yes, it was so nice. Okay. Yeah. So you got married in Kibera? No, uh -huh. in uh, it was in Kilimani. Kilimani. Yes, yeah. And then you flew to coast. Of course, yes. For for dinner with parents. Yes, we went for like a vacation. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, we went for. This was the wedding gift of for, my for their family. Parents, yeah. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. Taking us to the coast. Okay. Mm -hmm. So your parents are back to Germany now? Yes. Yeah, sadly, yes, they left. Yeah. Two days ago. Two days ago. Two days ago? Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> now you are newly wedded couple. Yes. What are your expectations in marriage? <laughs> uh, for me, I don't have any big expectation. Mm -hmm. I just want to be with her and, uh, you know, spend time and, uh, you know, just be like like we, we, we've been living in the last yeah. year. Like, mm -hmm. Yes, I want to make him happy mm -hmm. i know he will make me happy wow. i want to have a family with him yeah yes and i want like i want us to be stable i want us to have a good life so we can we can give our kids the the, the best life, yes. the best life. Yes. wow yes yeah. so okay. something simple <laughs> yeah true. okay have you ever been to germany not yet okay uh, we understand the culture differences of uh, germans and kenyans Kenyan yes. men pay dawali to their wives. Did yes. you pay the dawali to your girl? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so her dad came to me and he was like... No, you have just... to tell it from the beginning. So before he proposed, yes. he, had a, like we had a, he had a phone call with my parents yes. and asked them for permission mm -hmm. if they are okay when he's 
going to do that. Mm -hmm. yes. And then my dad's reaction. Mm -hmm. It's like, I want 25 uh, camels. <laughs> camels. 20, 25 camels. 25 Hello? camels. Yes. Yes. For uh, me. For, so I can, mm -hmm. I can do this. Yes. Yes. yes, but then you know, they, they understand our situation and they know that uh, mm -hmm. we're still trying to build our, Your life. our lives. Yes. And, uh, and it know. was more like a joke. Yes, like it, it was a joke. Okay. Okay. It was a joke so but in then Germany, is, is there any dowry? No, we don't do that. So we, don't don't do, we, yes. we know about that. I think back then people used to do that, mm -hmm. yeah. but it's not a thing anymore. Yeah. Oh. It's not a thing anymore. Nothing. Yeah, so it's not a, a must, but uh, yeah, it's not a must for me to okay. pay the, yeah. Oh, okay. You want to get maybe, maybe small cameras one day? Yes, <laughs> like uh, one day, like, <laughs> I, I, I want to do this because I know, like, uh, I, like for me, to appreciate yes, to appreciate, the, you know, yes, to but appreciate. Just the, the, the small camel, yeah. The fake ones. The <laughs> fake ones, <laughs> like the... What's yes. this? No, like one the day. Toys. <laughs> yes, the toys. Yeah, I'll buy the toys, uh -huh. the camel toys, uh -huh. to 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 give her that. But then one day I want to appreciate, like you know, to not only and I won't give them camels, yeah, of, course, of course, but yeah. I will appreciate them, you know, okay. with something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my advice for girls who are dating Kenyans or who wants to marry a Kenyan, like. The most important thing is communication, like communicate with your partner. It's super important, especially when you're from different countries. Yes, and be patient because uh, we Germans, we love to be on time, we love to plan and you have to be a bit more flexible dating a Kenyan because you can't plan well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just have to live and you have to, you have to go with this, like you have to Flow with this. them. Yes, you have to flow with them. You, I, I never know what will happen tomorrow. I have to be chilled and let let it happen. Okay. So, what advice do you have for men who want to date girls from Germany? Okay, for me, I would. Uh, for, for me, the advice that I would give them. Uh, be, be honest, and. You know, just just be yourself. You know, don't don't fake anything. And you know, yeah, like those are the things I'd say. Be honest and be. You know, like try to be there for her. Yeah, you know there are good times and bad times. Show her that you care. Yeah, and love her. <laughs> yes. So for your generations to come and they come along this video, what would you love to tell them? For your generations or for your future kids who will come along this video, what message do you have for them? Well, our message for future generations, like, uh, I think from my message for future generations is like, don't judge people from where they come from or who, where they grew, grown up like just see the the person in somebody like the personality yes. so for the future kids and the future generation I would advise them that uh, don't date someone because of their color or where they are coming from or what they they are bringing on the table you know follow your feelings and you know be real yes that's my advice yeah okay yeah, one thing you would love the world to know about you <laughs> <laughs> you have something uh for me mm -hmm. one thing i would want to to let the world know mm -hmm. Me, mm -hmm. I believe in myself. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. I, I think for me, I can sense you brave. Hmm? You brave. Is it? Let yes, me help I you think, think about it. You brave. <laughs> she is brave. your country. Even, and our, even our parents you. said that she yes, is. Yes, she yes, is. Yeah. Saying this. yeah, I would love to let the world know I'm brave and 
Yeah, I'm open-minded. Like everyone can come to me, talk to me. Yeah. Um, I'm always there for everyone, right? Yeah. Yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What would you What would you love to be remembered for as an individual? After you leave this world, mm -hmm. yeah, what would you love to be remembered for? I would love to be remembered for doing something great, like doing something good for for the people, for the society. I would love to leave the world knowing I, I've been doing something to improve it. Wow. Yeah. For me, one, uh, I would love the world to remember me for for the for the things I did. Yeah. Uh, for the coming generation. Yeah. And uh, I think another, it's for the sacrifice. For the sacrifice, yeah. yes. And uh, also another thing is uh, I, do, I do my I do, I do my best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do your yes. best you yes. can. Do your best, yeah. Okay. Wow. So my future plan for my education is like right now I'm having <coughs> Okay, let me restart yes. this. <laughs> Oh, okay. what's plan what's your plan with your social work mm -hmm. and the community okay so my future plan for my social work career is right now i'm having a bachelor's degree i would love to do something to do another uh, degree a master's and i would love to study something in the international way i would love to do international social work or development work and yes i would love to to yeah to work internationally and to improve different communities to support them to work with uh, different people from different different uh, cultures mm -hmm. yes. okay okay so it's to improve the okay are you planning to go back to school Yes, I would love to go back to school. Not soon, soon, but you will. I will be go back to school probably. Kenya or Germany? Okay, I was checking some courses in Kenya, and but since in Kenya you have to pay for it, and I don't have like we're not having a big income right now. Mm -hmm. And um, in Germany it's free, and mm -hmm. I know I would get a job in Germany while I'm studying. Mm -hmm. So uh, probably in Germany. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is like a degree from Germany, the value internationally is higher than uh -huh. the degree, than the degree from, Kenya. from Kenya. Oh wow. So when you go back to school, are you going with your husband or are you leaving him? <laughs> no, Kenya? I will never leave him. No. <laughs> we, we've been separated for those uh, six months and I, I don't want this to happen again. So if I go or uh, once one day when we go, uh -huh. we will go together. Okay, so you guys you're planning to relocate to Germany? Not soon, soon, but yes. maybe one day, like one day. Okay. To, for me to finish my yeah, education. education. Okay. And for him to experience Germany. Your as culture well. too? Yes, yeah. my culture. Yeah. As a couple, what are your future plans? Okay, so long term, I think we would love to stay in Kenya, right? Yes. We, w we want to experience Germany as well, mm -hmm. but long term we would love to build something in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And maybe to, we, w we would love to have a gym. Yes. Or we would love to, to have, have a gym. gym. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to start the dance fitness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Our own brand. Yes. yes. We would love to have and, our uh, own brand. And also to, to like give other kids opportunities. In mostly the other slums you know different yes. slums yes. yeah not only where i came from but other mm -hmm. slums and yes. to build something and yeah, this is one yes. of our biggest dreams yes. like to build an organization yeah. or a school okay. in, in to, uh, Kibera, to for example kids. to empower children from the slums yeah? yes. yes wow and the short terms <laughs> okay Plan. short terms term plans is we're having our own youtube channel mm -hmm. yes. by the way we're we're trying to to make this grow and also we're, we're still trying to find out uh, uh, how Vin can 
improve it his education he yes. just finished I high finished school, high okay. school. Uh -huh. by the way like yes. we managed for him to finish high school but maybe yeah. he would love to do a course for being mm -hmm. a trainer mm -hmm. yes. and yes we're gonna see yeah. but uh, also to yeah to improve our our channel and to share moments with yeah. you guys okay yes. so you have plans to go back to school um uh, not to study mm -hmm. but uh, to to have the certificate for a trainer because mm -hmm. now I okay I'm a trainer yes yeah. but I'm not satisfied, satisfied yet okay. yeah and uh, also I didn't have that uh, chance to finish high school mm -hmm. so I finished mm -hmm. recently okay. and uh, oh yeah. you have already finished yes wow yes. amazing yeah mm -hmm. so yeah my future plans is maybe one day to go to go back like not to to uh, to learn because uh, yeah. you know just to get ideas from what uh, to be Gets different yes, skills. Yes, different okay. skills, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I'm a social worker by profession. I studied social work. I was sending some applications. I'm trying hard to get a job, but it's not that easy. So when someone knows organizations who are looking for social workers, I would love to work with some organizations here. Yes. Love it. Can they reach you? <laughs> <laughs> Where can they reach you? You can <laughs> reach me on Instagram or on Vince number as well. Yeah. So what's your YouTube channel? So our family YouTube channel is called Vin and Lenny. Mm -hmm. Yes, we we are posting uh, videos about our life, about traveling, about comedy a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. We want to show people from everywhere, people from Germany, from all the countries, how we are living in Kenya, how life is here, like what we're doing, like just to give some expressions of our life here in Kenya. Yes. Okay. And uh, I also have my YouTube channel for fitness, uh, Vin Park Bro. Yes, you can subscribe and uh, I show you guys, you know, workouts and if you wanna get fit at home in the gym, exercise to help you lose belly fat, everything, I'll post everything there. So check it out as well. So we also have a family TikTok account. We are called Vin and Lenny. And also on our Instagram account, we're called Vin and Lenny. Yes. Yes. And uh, I also have my own TikTok account. It's called Vin Park Pro. And, uh, Instagram account Vin Park Bro as well, and uh, you have your own. Yes, I have my own Instagram account called Lenny Pfizer. Mm -hmm. yes. okay. With a W. Pfizer okay. <laughs> V. It means W in German. Okay. Yes. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Miss Rachel channel. You already know and uh, also our family youtube channel mm -hmm. hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll be sharing our wedding video yes stay tuned and uh, future videos our life you know yes we're gonna and share some moments with you yes so and we want you guys to be part of this journey make sure you subscribe and we love share don't forget to subscribe and like this video so if you want to subscribe to our family youtube channel it's called Vin and Lenny yes make yes. sure you subscribe like comment and share yes thank you very much wow